Nina Shapiro, we begin tonight at 5.30 with a bathroom battle that is brewing in the Tonawanda School District. A 17-year-old who identifies as female is being told she no longer is allowed to use the women's restroom at school. News 4's Marissa Perlman reports on her plans to fight for her rights. Marissa? Well, Nalina Jr. here will be one to remember for Ariana Adamo. It is her first full year at school walking the halls of Tonawanda High School as a woman. She's been transitioning for a few years now, but says this will be her biggest challenge yet. It gives me a smile and makes me have more courage every day just to be able to dress who I want to be and do whatever I can to be myself. Tanawanda High School junior Ariana Adamo says she's never felt more like herself. Now she wants the staff and classmates at her school to see that too. I, I want to make this school understand and have everyone in there understand and feel comfortable and not worry. She's fighting for answers now that she's not allowed to use the women's restroom at her school. I identify as a woman. I would like to use the women's facilities. She says she was allowed to use the girls' bathroom last year, but at the beginning of this school year, that changed. She says the superintendent told her the change happened out of a safety concern. They said they don't want false people saying they identify as a girl going into the um, wrong bathrooms. Right now, there's no bathroom policy in place. Superintendent Dr. James Newton says the school is working on one to address guidelines for transgender students. But it's been months and still nothing. Ever since the starting of the school year and to now, they've been saying they're going to get a policy. And it's been, I don't know how many months, but still nothing has planned. Right now, the district is following the state education department's guidance document, which in part says alternative accommodations such as a single unisex bathroom or private changing space should be made available to students who request them, but should never be forced upon students nor presented as the only option. This means for now, a demo can only use the gender neutral or the health office bathroom. But she says she will continue to fight for what she says is discrimination based on her gender. Ariana is a girl who fights for her battles. She tries to make everyone happy. She strives for the best. Now, the bathroom debate is, of course, being brought up in high schools around the country. This comes after the president's decision to rescind protections for transgender students that allowed them to use bathrooms corresponding with their gender identity. Now, we spoke with Dr. Newton by phone, who says he's hopeful the school board policy subcommittee will get their plan in place soon. And he tells us he believes his staff treats Adamo well and they're very accepting of the transgender population. We'll keep you posted. In the studio tonight, Marissa Perlman, News 4 at 530. Marissa, thank you. A long